is the rule of thirds okay so the rule of thirds is um, in well photography and composition and in film it's a rule that states that you have to divide your frame into nine equal parts you know and then um, when you divide them you're gonna be you're gonna have four cross uh, points and a lot of cameras like the one I'm using right now which is the Canon 7D it has um, you know it has the the grid on it it has the grid which divides um, which divides the frame into nine squares right so it kind of helps out a lot especially if you're like a beginner you know it helps out with your composition to you know place your subjects on those points yeah so that's what the rule of thirds is it's just you divide your frame into those nine um, equal squares and then um, you place what you want people to look at what you want your viewers to pay attention to you place it on one of those cross points on uh, the nine uh, squares that's pretty much what the rule of thirds is is place your subject or whatever you want the viewers to look at first or whatever you want or well or whatever is important in that frame or in that image place it on one of those points and when you place it on one of those points it makes sense the picture the video whatever makes sense you know so that's what people state as rule or thirds that's what it does when you place whatever you want people to look at especially people's eyes on that line on one of those cross points it makes a lot of sense especially like let's say it depends on what you are actually what your pick what your image is or in this point it um it depends on the film and what's in that clip what's in that motion picture that you're trying to you know to stand out what that thing is you place it on one of those dots there so I'll put a grid uh, in most of the throughout this video I'll put the grid so so we can see if I follow the root thirds okay guys so the root of thirds it's used a lot in a lot of big movies a lot of these big movies in Hollywood use this so-called rule of thirds a guideline of composition a lot of these movies use it and I personally feel like a lot of people on YouTube when they're explaining they make it like you know the it's like the most important thing and every movie has it and there's a lot that goes into this rule of thirds and this and that I feel like they've mystified they've helped mystify this so-called rule of thirds you know by them putting too much importance on it oh your picture is not a picture your your film is not a film if you don't you know have the rule thirds and this and that yes it does help um with the film but it depends on what you are trying um to portray in that certain film or in that certain scene and you can't just follow that rule throughout the whole film or throughout the whole scene it's not gonna make sense you have to make sense of the way you're framing everything in the film in that scene it does help but I'm just saying like the way some people portray this in their videos when they're explaining it they explain it as if like if you don't use the rule thirds in your films then you are not a cinematographer or your work is not cinematic but it actually is it's just it depends on how you're using it and what kind of film because I mean when you're doing weddings which a wedding um, by the way is a live event a wedding is nothing whereby it's pre-planned like oh we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that a lot of these weddings I like you know you could try to plan them but then again you are not on set to where you can control everything you can't control the light in the whole thing because these movies when they're shooting movies like Lord of the Rings and you know Game of Thrones and all these movies the Avengers all these movies are on set so they control everything they control what kind of light hits the face what part of the face they control uh, the background how people are walking or what happens next here and there they control everything so that's why they can be able to you know place things in certain parts of the frame 
but when you're filming a wedding you really have no control of the background of who's behind the bride and groom or who's gonna walk here now and when and this and that who's gonna say this and what kind of light is gonna come into the room who's gonna turn their flash on who's gonna take a picture who's gonna interrupt you so when you're filming a wedding and a wedding is a run and gun type thing it's you know it's hard to kind of follow everything in film composition you know it helps if you know a lot about film composition which i'm trying to do in this series is get you guys familiar with composition in film but i'm going to be honest i don't like i know these rules but personally i just be creative when i'm filming a wedding i don't try and be like oh um can you redo this so i can um do the root of thirds or so i can you know use this leading line here or so i can you know create contrast or so i can make this a silhouette like you really can't control a lot of things in a wedding those of you people that film live events know that you can't control anything at a live event you know that's why uh janet jackson what happened to her at the super bowl with you know the whole uh wide drop uh malfunction thing if that was pre-recorded or if that wasn't a live event if everything was planned that wouldn't have happened you know but the fact that that was a live event there was little to nothing that anyone filming could have done or you know they couldn't control the situation because it's a live event so a wedding is a live event and things happen so you can't really control a lot you can't control a lot about the lighting and stuff like that especially during like you know the ceremony whereby uh some of these couples are like you know i'm cathedrals you can't go in there and tell the tell the the priest like oh can you turn the lights up a little bit or can you turn them low or can you open these windows or can you you can't do anything at most of these venues during the ceremony or even during the reception you know you can't really do a lot and some of these like lights at the that they have at these uh venues uh, at whereby you can't even turn them up like that's they're so dim that that's just how they are those lights are meant to be for reception so you can't control a lot at a wedding but in movies they can control anything they can control everything you know so that's what i'm saying that's why you see them uh, use all these composition tricks and techniques to their advantage to their full advantage because they can control everything on set they can control how the wind blows they can control the temperature of the room everything anyway so in order for you to break it you have to know the rule first so like i said the rule is you place the uh, thing of importance on one of those cross points right so breaking it is just not placing it placing the thing of importance on those cross points it's just placing it on a different spot in uh, the frame and also if you are creative the way you place your fr uh, your subjects in a frame can even be way better than placing it on one of those points so it's just about what you want to portray and what kind of what you want out of a certain uh, scene so it's up to you the filmmaker to tell a story how you see fit and you know everybody has a different style so just the way you tell your story it's just your style and how creative you are with your films and what you really want to portray in your films what matters it's not about this rule or that rule or you know this here and that there these things are just there to help you especially when you're starting out but once you become a professional once you do this a lot uh, you have your own get into your own zone when you're filming these weddings or when you're filming whatever you're filming so which leads me to the point which I told you you have to know the rules before you break them so that so that way you know if you're breaking it or whatever but you just have to know the rules first so that way you can know what the hype is about and all this stuff you just have to know the uh, certain stuff before you know breaking it but honestly you don't even have to know the rule to break it I'm just saying you just um, you don't have to always follow the rule because when I go to a wedding honestly when I step to a wedding I don't go to a wedding saying, oh, I'm going to use them. I just frame uh, the, the, the subject how I feel, how I see fit in a certain situation, in every situation. I don't be like, okay, I'm doing helps a lot. 
to balance your frame to balance whatever the image but it doesn't really it doesn't have to be about that you just have to um you just have to uh frame the scene how you want the scene to go not how everybody else is saying it should go okay guys so that's what i'm trying to tell you here so in conclusion in closing i'm just going to say i don't really film with an intention to place uh the thing of most importance on one of these points especially the fact that i film weddings and weddings are run and gun and like i said it's hard to control everything in uh on set at a wedding it's not like you are you know filming a film where you can control everything when you're doing a wedding you can barely you know tell the tell the bride to do this and or do that you know i just get creative and try and get as much um out of as much cinematic stuff as i can during the wedding because it's really hard to you know uh direct everyone because you really can't you know it's a live event like i said so all i'm going to say is in closing all i'm going to say is don't look at this rule like it's the most important rule look at this like i don't even call it the rule of thirds i just call it the rule of balance because that's all it is is you are trying to balance you know uh the the subjects in the frame you were trying to balance the frame so instead of um having framing somebody all the way in the corner up there or framing somebody all the way dead center to where they're not like you know you want to focus on something else that's also behind them or something that's on their side or something like that you have to strategically you know frame whatever you're framing so all it is to me how i look at it is this rule should it should just be called the rule of balance because that's the only thing that i see is like this rule is just help uh, this rule just helps people balance their image just ba helps them balance you know the stuff in the frame that's why it's used a lot in landscape because you know you want them to either focus on either the sky or the you know the field the 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 terrain or whatever you want them to focus on it's a way of creating balance in a motion picture or in a image to me honestly that's all it is just like i'm saying it's a rule of balance it's a rule of how you should balance or how to balance um the subjects in your frame so that's what that's what it does it helps you balance the subjects in your frame that's what it is guys so that's the rule of thirds in film composition it uh it states that you know you place your important or thing or whatever you want somebody the viewers to notice on one of the cross points and it should be all good you don't have to know the rule to break it and you don't have to break it if you don't want to break it but like i'm saying it depends on what you're filming and what emotion you're trying to evoke in the viewers or what you're trying to lead their eyes to because that's all cinematography is that's all film composition is for film composition is meant for you to control how your viewers feel and what they look at first and stuff like that so whatever is going to be of most importance or whatever you want them to notice in a film you're going to you know you're going to create the situation for them to notice that or for them to feel that so that's all composition it helps you um you know tell a story it helps you direct the viewers to what to pay attention to to what to look at first or to what to look at next or to how to feel in a certain situation so that's why that's why composition is important to help control the viewer thank you for watching i'll catch you guys in the next episode of cinematography simplified where i try and simplify some of these rules and terms okay guys thank you for watching make sure you like you click the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel i will really appreciate it thank you so much for watching guys it's francis